Today, that peace, that stability, and our continued success have come under threat. Once again, we must come together as partners to face the common challenges confronting the region. Not one single country can do this by itself. No single force can, can counter them by themselves. This is why our strategic partnership has grown more important than ever. We must reinforce each other's strengths. We must protect the peace that we fought for during the war and have jealously guarded in the decades since. We must oppose actions that clearly denigrate the rule of law. As in 1942, the Philippines now finds itself on the front line against actions that undermine regional peace, erode regional stability, and threaten regional success. Then as now, we remain firm in defending our sovereignty, our sovereign rights, our jurisdiction. I shall never tire of repeating the declaration that I made from the first day that I took office. I will not allow any attempt by any foreign power to take even one square inch of our sovereign territory. The challenges that we face may be formidable, but equally formidable is our resolve. We will not yield. Then as now, the security and continued prosperity of the region of countries like Australia relies upon that effort. Just as we fought to build our rules-based international order, so are we now fighting to protect it. The protection of the South China Sea as a vital, a critical global artery is crucial to the preservation of regional peace and, I dare say, of global peace. We have an abiding interest in keeping our seas free and open and in ensuring unimpeded passage and freedom of navigation. We must uphold preserve and defend the unified and universal character of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea as the constitution of the oceans. We draw strength from the consistent and unequivocal support of Australia and the international community for the lawful exercise of our rights, which have been settled under international law. And so, on behalf of the Filipino people, I thank you, Australia, for standing with the Republic of the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, we demonstrate the depth and breadth of our security cooperation through regular exchanges between our armed forces and our Coast Guards, including in the areas of maritime security, counterterrorism, humanitarian assistance, and disaster relief.